the investigations. The shooters has brought Kaswabuli, so and so. They are, they are his workmates. There is a pastor who works in his church. How will you do that? But the magistrate, first of all, the state attorney, why I even object to him, acted as if he's, he's, he's a Bujingo's lawyer. Since he claims to be working for me, that his money has taken over, which I'm objecting to, I thought that he was going to base his arguments on my objection to bail on an affidavit on record. There is an affidavit I found yesterday. Now, he refused, he did not only refused to refer to it, but even when I stood up and the magistrate was saying I cannot speak in my own case, she picked my affidavit and, and said, using my powers, I don't see any value in this affidavit. But this is my case. So what if I'm killed by Ujingo or by a, uh, uh, the magistrate wanted to be? Would the magistrate compensate my family? So this was a lawless proceeding. The magistrate, I think, I don't know which laws she was reading. And I think they have to be challenged. Even that bill has to be nullified. Because how do you want bail in the penance of an application challenging the takeover? But in the penance of an affidavit, saying that this man is dangerous. This man has no place of abode within the jurisdiction of this court. Automatically, we are saying no. And they are saying naked. The naked day is far away from here. The surety is none of them resides here. And the magistrate, I don't know, she's not giving, giving any reason. She's not considering my affidavit. So I think that was illegal and unlawful. Sure. 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 S